Hello, so one of the questions we've had in is about left-hand E-flat keys on clarinets. Um, so what that is, on some clarinets, like this one here, there's an extra key here. Um, and this key lets me, with the left hand, play an E-flat. Um, so you see this E-flat key here moving, or of course in the lower octave, you can think of it as a G-sharp key. Um, and why that's useful is there are a couple of passages um, you can get where if you didn't have that key, you'd end up having to slide between the little finger keys, um, which is really awkward to do and it's not very smooth. Um, I say that there are only a few occasions where that comes up. Most people, most of the time, you're never going to need that key. Um, on, kind of on top professional models now, um, they pretty much all have it, so you don't really need to worry about you're missing out with one model versus another because they pretty much all have it. The area where it's slightly kind of grayer area is around the intermediate range um, and now you do get some clarinets where you have the option of either having that key or not having it. For most people not having it is not ever going to be an issue but if you are kind of the professional player doing lots and lots of work or you're worried about ever getting stuck um, it can be useful to have. So here's an example of where it's really useful. This is taken from the cadenza of Messager's Solo de Concor. Um, and I'm going to slurp right down and hopefully you'll see where my little finger goes to that key. So. so in this passage there's a bit where I play G sharp A C and then I go to the E flat with the left hand which then enables me to go to a B with the right hand so I can get back to C with the left hand and then I've got my E flat there on the right. And without that key, there's no way of doing that passage without having to slide between two of the notes. There are other choices you could take for the fingerings there, but you would end up always using that E flat key unless you're sliding. Um, so that's kind of an example of where that can be useful and there are other pieces of music where that happens. Um, but as I mentioned previously, they're fairly few and far between. Um, so if your clarinet hasn't got that key, you don't need to feel, you need to rush out and kind of get one added or buy a new clarinet. But when you are um, kind of choosing one, it's just something to bear in mind.